New at 6 tonight, a Gunnison woman charged with murdering her 29-year-old brother. It's a case CBS4 has been following since 2015. Traveled to Gunnison to cover Colorado. From the start, the friends of 29-year-old Jacob Millicent said his family was involved in his murder. They never gave up the fight to seek justice for their friend. Well, today, they have a piece of that. 33-year-old Stephanie Jackson was in court charged with first-degree murder, among other charges. CBS4's Matt Kroschel spoke with one of Jacob's friends about this long-awaited arrest. Nearly three years, friends of Jacob Millicent fought very hard to make sure his case didn't turn into a cold case. They say now with the arrest, they are one major step closer to justice. This thing is getting closure on the whole thing. Randy Martinez knows. A couple months has been three years since he's went missing. He knows the pain of losing a friend. Oh, it kind of sucks not having my good friends for the last three years. Months and months going by with no new information about what happened to Jacob. But Randy and the rest of his friends always suspected his own family was somehow behind his disappearance. Literally days before he went missing, told us if anything ever happened, it was his family. When investigators discovered remains hidden in a grave on the family's ranch last summer, Jacob's friends stepped up their calls for an arrest. We kind of figured that from the person he is would never just take off and leave, and that's what they said he did. With Jacob's own sister, Stephanie Jackson, now facing first-degree murder charges, Millicent's friends say they are confident their pressure on law enforcement helped keep this case from turning cold. I think there would probably eventually been arrest, but I think us kind of keeping it in their minds and stuff, we kind of helped a little. Now they are turning their focus on how they can say goodbye, knowing their worst fears are, in fact, a reality. Kind of get everybody together for memorials and stuff. The sheriff tells me this case remains very active and open, and I asked him if there could be more arrests coming. He said everything remains on the table. I'm Matt Kroschel covering Colorado First.